You know, we first told you about the case of the missing state representative David Stover last night on the late feed. Now he's refusing to step down from office despite questions of whether he even lives in the United States and evidence of possible misuse of his official status, a situation that appalls Georgia watchdog William Perry. I just can't understand the selfishness involved that this guy must have in order to have just completely fallen down on his duties. And Caitlin, you broke this yesterday. We're talking about a defiant lawmaker. His name is David Stover, and you uh, reached out to him. What did he say? Well, defiant is the right word. David Stover told me he is absolutely not stepping down. He said he is absolutely keeping his seat, and he wants to continue serving the voters of District 71. Now, you talked about a timestamp that you emailed him, and the response you got is that Kate's that he may not be living in Georgia right now. Well, the timestamp is very curious. So we were emailing back and forth, and there was a discrepancy in those times stamps that shows he's emailing from what could be a European time zone. He said that he's going to talk to you or what's going on with that? So I asked him point blank, if you are here, you disagree with our story, you think it's wrong, I'll drive anywhere in Georgia right now. Let's meet up for an interview. I'll go anywhere you want. And he said, I'm traveling outside of Georgia right now. So he's not available to sit down and talk to us. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't answered our questions. So while he's made a Facebook post calling our investigation a hit piece, mm -hmm. he refuses to answer those point point by point questions that I sent him now 48 hours ago. So we still don't have an answer to those specific questions. Now you had talked about this last night that there's possible criminal charges that could be filed. Talk a little bit about that. Well, they would have to look into that on the ethics committee. Yeah. So there is currently an ethics complaint that was filed about his residency and they're looking into that and it's an ethical issue. So they're trying to figure out whether or not it was an abuse of power to use his state letterhead. And I talked to an elections attorney about the implications of that. So Georgia law prohibits you from using your office for personal gain and for personal, we're trying to get something for yourself. And so when you're using your personal letter head to a judge or on some personal issue which is unrelated to your office there's ethics rules that prohibit the use of the state seal for those personal purposes and it's just not something you should be doing you're using your office to advance your own interest as opposed to advancing the interest of your constituents but according to his Facebook post on his mm -hmm. professional page he is absolutely not stepping down Wow okay Caitlin Ross thanks a lot I know you're gonna be on top of this story and of course folks you can always go to our website 11alive.com for continuous updates and tonight, while Caitlin is still waiting for a face-to-face -face interview with Stover, Noonan's, the citizen, is now reporting the state rep called them today. According to their news article, Stover maintains his official residence is in Coweta County, but also confirms that he is currently in the United Kingdom.